ZL Special 7 Element Yage uh, was given to me. I uh, tested it with the analyzer and it seemed to be working better on 70s ends, but it's not designed for that. That was the result I got. Um, when I put it to 2 meters, that was the result. Um, basically dismantled what they do, whatever they've done. And things seem to be a bit wrong. Brought it down now just so I can show it on the bench so it's good. I've done some small mods. Rather than bringing out the hole there, I brought I drilled two small holes they can move the cap. Uh, put the twist in and then done the same into the air. Uh, drilled and put a PR259 connector. This is the small capacitance match element, uh, which you just keep trimming until it's right. I did experiment with putting a cap in there, but it didn't work out too well. Um, all the elements, everything worked out okay. The only thing I found that electrically, this element two and three were connected to the boom, and uh, the rest weren't. They were sort of isolated. So basically, I just made them all isolated. So. Everything's isolated from the boom. Uh, this is, I believe, a Moonraker uh, ZL special. Um, I will put it back up, but I'll test it where it is now anyway, just to show the sort of result you get. And everything seems to be working now a lot better. So I'll just give it a scan of that setting. I'll just change the scan. 12 meg. Hmm. Not a better result. Now if we go to Four three three. Which is more really the result I would expect. Uh, so I'll stick this up. I'm going to use it for two meters sideband. Um, it should do the job, I think. Uh, the I did find a drawing where it recommended the boom length be uh, uh, was it 50, 150 centimeters. Uh, this one's 170 centimeters, but I'm just going to leave it as it's down there. It seems to be working okay. And I will put a rubber boot and insulate and protect these better prior to putting it back up there just to weatherproof it. Um, but it seems to work alright now, so better than it was.